It's a GTI. All right, gang, what's up? What's happening? You joined me on my way to Senten. And we are now leaving uh, four ways. So this is still William Nicole. I'm just about to exit four ways and it's about uh, 6 p.m. And uh, surprisingly, the traffic is not uh, uh, looking too bad uh, today. So now we'll see as, uh, as we drive, maybe it's gonna get worse, but uh, so far it's, uh, it's completely fine. And uh, I'm thankful to the gods <laughs> or whatever so yeah leaving four ways and uh traffic not that bad yet and then uh, i have ways open here because unfortunately i don't have uh, car play and it doesn't look like uh, there are cops on the way so that's uh that's a positive obviously we're not gonna be flying because there's cars everywhere but always good to be to be careful so I'm driving to Senten and I thought I uh, I make a little update video for you all because because it's been a while since I made or uploaded a video I've been making videos I've just haven't been you know uploading because I've uh, I've been busy so this is like a little update video while we drive uh, to Sentin let's see uh, don't go there Picanto no. man I wanted that space but the Picanto just decided to take it but it seems like we'll find something here. Ooh, nice Porsche. Okay, let's go back here. There's a taxi there. So yeah, I've been uh, I've been shooting some videos. I just haven't had time uh, to upload and stuff because I have to edit them first. And unfortunately, I've been busy. With uh, other projects, I've been busy uh, with some other stuff, but uh, I'm gonna tell you all what um, I've been working on and uh, what's coming towards uh, the end of uh, the video. For now, I just wanted to give you all a little update. And uh, there is a uh, sentinel on, uh, on the left. Uh, you can see a nice skyline of a uh, sentinel. Ooh, the roads are bumpy. So yeah, uh, update on the car. The car is uh, is doing great, man. I haven't I haven't had any issues. I've been I've been driving it a lot. Uh, even if I'm I haven't been uploading videos, but I've been driving it a lot. And I have another car. I have uh, an old 2007 Honda Civic, which I love a lot. It's a 1.8. It's a manual gearbox. It's just uh, a nice uh, car, and it's it's pretty quick, eh? I think it is like 103 or 113 kilowatts. I'm not sure, but something like that. It's 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 quick, and it gives uh, this Polos uh, nightmares <laughs> because they don't know it's an old car. They don't expect it to be so quick. This little uh, TSI, man, they always try me, and uh, yeah, I give them uh, a nice. You know a nice time and a nice time to reflect <laughs> about what just happened so it's a it's a car that I uh, that I drive to work because I mean it's it's a nice driving car oh, another Porsche oh, that's nice no wing what is that is that a GTS oh my god is it a Targa it looks like a Targa so pretty wow yeah it's a Targa I love that real light you know it's such a pretty car so 
yeah i drive uh, i drive that car to work most of the time uh because i live close to work and there's no need to drive this for like uh, three minutes or five minutes to work and then uh you know turn it off while it's getting hot it's just gonna uh you know destroy or ruin the engine so i usually drive that uh, honda to work and then i drive this uh on weekends when i drive fast so i usually drive drive every time i jump in this car i drive it fast and that's what makes it such a a a joy to own because it's such a, a nice enjoyable uh fast uh, fast car but overall the car is doing great no issues i haven't made any major changes yet but uh i've installed i'm not sure if you guys can see it but and there you go that's that button <laughs> that's uh, the first interior mode so I've installed uh, a red uh, button and I can already feel uh, those 10 horsepower I can feel the car is now much uh, much quicker <laughs> I can feel the new I can feel the 10 horsepower yeah but uh, overall that's the only change I've, uh, I've made what's uh, coming though is um, a, uh, a steering wheel so i bought uh, a, a a suede uh steering wheel cover with uh, a red uh 12 o'clock so now i'm gonna have a red accent here and uh on uh, on the button there so um i have uh, a may to south in the states is coming back uh, on sunday and then after that i'm gonna install it and uh, and show it to you guys so i can't wait to see how it uh, how it looks i'm sure it's gonna look uh just gonna look lit i was also thinking of uh, putting a trim here like uh, like a suede uh, trim but i kind of like uh, this uh, silver contrast so instead of uh, putting that trim that is uh, m sport uh, written there like you have on uh, cars like uh, the cs and uh, and all that i'm just gonna put like uh, a little uh, m sport logo there it's it's gonna look nice so i'm still gonna have the silver here uh and also like like a writing you know just to add something to this side because it's a it's a big blend so that's uh that's the updates on the car in terms of uh the drivetrain and everything it's still uh as it was in the last video so still uh still stock uh still nice and stock um still you know slow compared to you modded uh people this guy let's see if we can exit here it's a range it's all over the road and there's sense and you can see the leonardo so yeah, drivetrain wise, the car is still uh, nice and uh, and stock. And uh, I was thinking of uh, of modifying it, and I am gonna modify it very soon. But uh, I still have to do some uh, some preventive maintenance. Um, find space here to break away I don't think so <laughs> this sentence looking pretty so yeah the car is still a uh, car is still stock um, I was thinking of going uh, MHD, especially with my mate in, uh, in the state. I was gonna get uh, the MHD universal adapter cheap. It was like seventy-nine dollars, which uh, totals to like um, I think something like uh, one point three. Um, so I ended up not uh, not uh, doing that uh, because I wanna do some uh, some maintenance first. I mean, I've been servicing the car and I've been servicing it uh, at BMW. I did uh, my last uh, service, I think like, um, I think about 2,000 kilometers ago, so it's still fresh 
uh, of being uh, being serviced. But uh, what I wanna do before I uh, do any mods is uh, uh, gearbox service. I wanna do gearbox uh, service on the car, and I also wanna service uh, the diff. Uh, I wanna service the diff, and then uh, the last thing that I wanna do is um, actually let me go sports mode. I even forgot that I was uh, that I've been driving on uh, on comfort. Uh, so yeah, uh, gearbox diff, and then uh, I also wanna upgrade my uh, my uh, my fuel pump. So I wanna move to the uh, B58 TU uh, fuel pump before I uh, I modify it. So that's uh, that's uh, that's those are the things that um, I wanna and I'm gonna do before I uh, I modify it because as you know modifying this car is easy. You just buy that uh, MHD adapter. So you just buy the adapter and then you buy the license of whatever that you're gonna be using this uh, an M3 and then you just buy whatever that you're gonna be using to modify the car so I've been thinking of uh, going MHD um, because I've seen a lot of I've watched a lot of videos on, uh, on it and it seems uh, to be you know uh, something that I'm leaning more uh, towards um but uh what i didn't um what i don't like about the mhd is that you can't transfer uh the licenses so you can only use the license that you purchase on uh, on one car so if i ever uh, decide to move um you know to another car i would have to buy the license again so that's the only thing i uh i hate about mhd but uh overall it seems like it's a uh, it's a good uh, you know like platform to modify uh, the B58 on. So I'm not uh, I'm not sure yet. That's why I didn't I didn't buy the adapter. But uh, very soon as soon as I get uh, all those things out of the way, we are going to stage one, baby. So we're gonna start with stage one, and then after that uh, we're gonna go stage two. And uh, stage two is very important for me because it. Uh, it ties into what I want to do to the exhaust, right? The the car sounds nice. It's uh, it's stock, but it's just not uh, it's just not loud enough. Um, let's go. It's just not uh, loud enough. So I was thinking of uh, either the MPPSK from BMW. Uh, the pro is that it sounds best for me for this car. It just sounds insane, even better than the full on M cars. Uh, but it's more than 50,000. It's like 52,000 just to buy the parts excluding labor. So that's crazy expensive and then uh, I went uh, shopping around uh, You know um, uh, It's uh, all this uh, tuning uh, shops uh, that do fabrication and then uh, they have uh, full cat back uh, systems for like uh, 25k and uh, I've had a lot of them. They they sound nice. They are super loud, but uh, they are not uh, as good as uh, the MPPSK. Obviously, for half the price, maybe I shouldn't expect uh, the same sound. They are loud. It's just that you lose that uh, uh, inline six B fifty eight. Uh, you know, uh, higher pitch uh, sound, and that's what I like about uh, this car. You know, it sounds nothing like uh, like uh, like a two liter. Uh, engine which I'm not uh, the biggest fan of it sounds more like uh, like a mini a mini V12 okay. okay so that I'm also not gonna do I'm not gonna go for those system for those uh, systems what I'm thinking of is uh, doing a double res delete. So I'm thinking of uh, doing a double resonator delete, uh, and then after that, uh, install a downpipe and uh, go stage two. So from all the videos I've watched on uh, on YouTube, this car already sounds 
uh, super nice with uh, with uh, that setup. I mean, it's much much louder. You still have uh, a nice good B58 tone, and uh, those. Uh, let's go. So yeah, with a double resonator delete and a downpipe, the car sounds savage. Like it sounds very nice uh, from what I heard. In, uh, in, uh, on, uh, on a few uh, YouTube videos so I think that's the setup I'm, uh, I'm gonna go for and it's gonna be much much cheaper than going for NPPSK uh, or even uh, a full full Kedbeck uh, system from uh, from any of uh, these tuning shops I mean it's just gonna be uh, either getting uh, a performance mid pipe or just go and cut out uh, the resonators so uh and that's gonna be that cheap and then uh, the down pipe is gonna be like i don't know, like four or five k so that's a fraction of uh, how much uh those full system uh cost right so i'm gonna go for that and uh on top i uh, get uh, a performance uh, boost obviously uh stage two is gonna be ridiculous uh it's gonna be super powerful and uh with uh, this m4 wheels i can go for a uh a bigger tire i'm gonna go 265 so i won't spin as much because this car is a habit of spinning wheels so this is what's coming but first we need to uh get the house in place first we need to get uh the maintenance uh part of it out of the way before we do any modifications because the car is now uh way above uh, 100k uh kilometers so it's better to get everything in order and refreshed before you know making a uh, big powers i mean uh stage one alone i think i'm gonna be above uh, 400 horsepowers and uh 400 horsepower and more than um 500 uh, newton meters of torque if i go for an uh, mppsk uh tune or stage zero plus as they call it on uh, on MHD, is gonna go to like I think 360 uh, horsepower. Oh, it's a nice Porsche. There's a lot of Porsches here in Shenzhen, man. Like people love Porsches, which uh, which makes sense. GTI Ha, ha, ha. 
So fun. Right, let's let's come down a bit. <laughs> um so yeah, this is uh that's my update uh, to you all. So what's uh one of the things that are that are coming or what I've uh, what I've been working on is uh, a review on um on the Mazda CX30. So I've had the car for almost uh, 2 weeks now. Uh, and I was shooting something for Mazda and then I decided uh, to review, uh, to make a review uh, for you guys. So uh, I'm going to upload that uh, very soon, hopefully. I just need to get uh, time to edit it and, uh, and do uh, all that uh, all that stuff. But it's, um, what's that? Ah, 86. Just too loud so yeah um, I'm gonna upload that review uh, very soon and then uh, after that uh, we're gonna go back uh, to uh, the usual um, and you know like POVs I haven't uh, done those in uh, in some time um, we need to go out again together we need to explore more cities I think the next one is uh, is Pretoria uh that's my home city by the way so i mean i gotta drive there with uh, with you guys so <laughs> i'm gonna go there uh soon but uh also Joburg, you know i just like jo Joburg is just an adventurous uh city for driving because you don't like you don't like people don't usually drive there so every time you drive there you just discover uh something new or just like crazy crazy things uh just happen so more Joburg POV uh, coming and um, and uh, more cities Pretoria definitely is gonna be one of them and uh, also back road uh, POVs I haven't done those in a, in a while and uh, those are you know some of my favorites you know back roads in uh, in Hartis they get your heart uh, pumping <laughs> with uh, with this car so we need to go uh, to those artists back roads together very soon uh but we also need to discover other roads for driving around Joburg, man i know we're not as blessed as our uh, you cape town people if we have any cape town or western cape people on uh in the comments y'all are y'all are lucky you know with all those uh, nice roads um i know Joburg is not as blessed as are uh, those cities but uh, i think we can still uh, find some nice driving roads in uh, in around Jobek or Houting besides uh, Hartis. So we need to find those uh, together. So I think this is the Mandela Square. I know that site is the Mandela Square. I don't, I'm not sure if it extends uh, to this site. There's a G class. You need to be patient. And then uh, C63, the beast. Another G63. Ooh, and then. Uh, the fuck fuck car <laughs> so yeah that's uh that's what's coming so make sure you all subscribe many of you are watching the videos but you don't subscribe make sure you subscribe to the channel man uh there are some nice you know videos coming it helps a lot with uh, the algorithm and then uh it also encourages me to you know to upload and uh, and shoot more when uh, the communities are uh, when the community is growing so make sure you like and uh you like the video and subscribe uh to my channel and uh let's uh let's grow the community um but uh yeah that's uh that's more or less uh it's i'm just gonna uh run some uh some more errands or i'm just gonna run some errands because i just i just got here and then after that i'm gonna i'm gonna go back uh to four ways uh to work on uh on this video and um and the cx30 uh review uh and then i'm gonna i'm gonna check you all out in uh in the next in the next one so again i need you all to engage you know in the comments i need you all to uh like uh the video so that i know that uh you are watching and uh i'm obviously always open for you know for improvements and, uh, and stuff like that so if you have any suggestions 
on how I can improve uh, these videos or where you want me to go next just uh, hit me up in, uh, in the comments I read them and then I will try to uh, reply as, uh, as soon as possible otherwise I will check you all out in the next one